Lesson 5 Study of Data Study of Data Data is nothing but collection of information. When we need to know information regarding a particular place, thing, etc., we need to collect the details regarding them. This collection of details is called data. Now look at this picture and fill in the data. How many buildings do you see? Five. Number of birds? Nine. Number of lotus flowers? Seven. Number of trees? Five. Number of ducks? Five. Number of fish? Four. Try to collect data for these questions from your school. Number of classrooms. Number of teachers. Number of male teachers. Number of female teachers. Number of trees, bikes, bicycles, toilets, taps. Number of students in standards 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Data gives us information. Collection of information helps us to know many facts. Questionnaire is one of the methods to collect information. Questions are framed to get the information we need. Fill in this form. Name of the head of the family. Number of persons in the family. Adult. Children. Number of literates. Number of children studying in school, college. Occupation of the head of the family. Total income of the family. Mother tongue of the student. A survey is a method of collecting information through data gathering, interview and questionnaire. This table shows the hours spent by friends in the playground during summer holidays. Now answer these questions based on the data given in this table. Who spent the maximum time in the playground? Muller. Who spent the minimum time in the playground? Varun. Who spent the maximum time in the playground on Thursday? Raja. How many hours did Sandhya spend in the playground on Monday? Three. Ask your classmates their favorite subjects and record them in a table like this. Data collected by Priya. Tamil, 33 students. English, 40. Maths, 25. Science, 35. Social Science, 20. Drawing, 45 music 41 sports 45 computer science 30 general knowledge 40 
drawing and sports are the subjects liked by the most number of students. Tally marks. Before the invention of numbers, ancient people used fingers, knots and tally marks for counting. This is called a tally mark. To make it easier to count, after four tally marks, the fifth tally mark is entered as a cross line. These are the tally marks used for numbers 1 to 10. This statement shows the marks scored by third standard students in mathematics. Now convert the above marks into the table using tally marks. How many students got 40? 7. 43. 3 students. 48. 4 students. 52. 6 students. 53. 2 students. 58. 3 students. And 60. 5 students. The physical education master in a school recorded the height of 20 students and this statement shows the details. Let us prepare a table with tally marks for this data. Height in centimeters, tally marks, number of students, 100 centimeters height, 8 students. 110 centimeters, 6, 118 centimeters, 6. Pictographs. Symbols and pictures can be used to represent data. This helps us to study and understand data easily. This kind of representation is called pictograph. This pictograph shows the sale of toys in a shop. Now looking at this pictograph, fill in the required data in these boxes. The total number of toys sold, 24. The total number of balls sold, 6. Name the toy which was sold the least in number, van. Name the toy which was sold the most in number, doll. The total number of buses sold, 4. Now this pictograph represents the number of apples sold at a shop in one week. And one apple denotes 10 apples. Now looking at this pictograph, answer these questions. Total number of apples sold in 6 days, 290. Total number of apples sold on Thursday, 40. The sale was maximum on which day? Saturday. And the sale was minimum on Wednesday. The number of sales was equal on Monday and Thursday. Now represent this data in terms of a pictograph. Let this smiley be equal to 5 students. 
In standard 1, there are 15 students. Standard 2, 20. Standard 3, 25. Standard 4, 20. Standard 5, 30. When we represent this data as a pictograph, we get for first standard, three smileys. Second standard, four. Third standard, five. Fourth standard, four. And fifth standard, six. In a cricket selection match, 25 students participated. The number of runs scored by each student is given in this table. Let us prepare a table with tally marks for this data. 30 runs Number of students 7 32 runs Number of students 7 40 runs Number of students 6 45 runs Number of students 5 The number of computers supplied to a few schools is given here. One computer picture is equal to 4 computers. From this pictograph, fill in the following data. The number of computers supplied to school A, 12. Total number of computers supplied to all schools, 76. The number of computers supplied to school D, 16. Number of computers supplied to school B, 20.